Hi guys, welcome back to my XPS video. Now I'm gonna talk about A2 and 2B. Like you probably have known that their 7 stars form are available on the Japan version right now. And yeah, the most interesting thing about it is A2 in Japan is different than the global version. So I think the Japan version is better, okay? But yeah, let's start take a look from her trust master. So her trust master is a great sword with 143 attack. But if you remember on the global, the attack is only 125. So from the trust master, it is already better the Japan version. Okay, the beast roar also only deal 1.5 times damage, while the Japan deal 4.5 times. So don't worry. Okay, I believe maybe they will buff her in some way in the global version like they did on Noctis. And from the abilities lineup, why I say the Japan version better than global? Because on Japan version, you your strongest six stars ability is let me show you. Okay. Uh, this one, okay. Seven times chaining move. Very very good, right? Because on the global, what we get is only finisher, which has six times damage, and it only one hits. So I think the Japan version is better. Also, because it has eight hits, I assume it can chain with 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 one of two eight hits chaining family skill. Okay, so there are two family. The first is the Octa Slash family. The second is Absolute Tranquility. So Absolute Tranquility is a chaining, a new chaining move, okay, which will be learned by Seven Stars, PG Laswell, Axstar, and many characters. So yeah, I think she is quite good if she able to chain with them, okay. But yeah, let's take a look on her passive first. So she get twenty percent attack, thirty percent attack. That's fifty percent. Another 30%, that means 80%, and plus 50% when equipped with great sword. So that means 130%. And she also get innate dual wield. 160 percent. So yeah, pretty good, I guess. Okay. It is about the same like other seven stars base attackers, but because she learns Dual wield, that's already a plus for her. And yeah, other than dual wield, you also get this one. Okay, the double hand. I'm not sure whether it is true or fake, but I don't think it is that matter, okay, because you need to equip her weapon, which is a one handed great sword, I think. So even if she learned that true double hand, it may be not that important because she's still gonna use that one handed. Great sword. And the next is this, okay? So she got 100%, 50%, so 150% double hand, pretty good. And increase attack modifier. So yeah, she's pretty good. But she also learned this, okay? 50% through dual wield, so very flexible character. It is kind of like Shadow Lord, but much much better and yeah even if you dual wield you don't need to worry because she has the W ability so she can use her chaining move two times per turn and if that's not enough she also able to use it three times okay using her cooldown skill so she's kind of like Hyo okay who able to use three skills in one turn pretty good I'm not sure why she's not top tier. Maybe, maybe because it is she. She's just too focused on attack. Okay, because on the Japan right now, top tier attackers able also able to break or imperil the enemies. So for 2B, like you know that her six stars version on the global is same like the Japan version. So I believe her. 7 stars version on the global will also follow the Japan version. So I like her more than A2. The first reason is because 
party able to support your character, okay? Your party, I mean. Not offense, not defensive, but offensive. And yeah, the first is the this one minus 100% lightning resist. So this is very good, especially if you use a character like Olive, okay, in your party. Remember that global get Olive, so I really wait for her in the global portion. Also, she able to break 65% of enemy's defense. Let me show you 65. Yeah, this one. So it is on the same level like Ramza. So it saves you one spot. Okay, very, very good break. And her LB damage is also quite high. 11 times with 50% ignore defense means 22. And yeah, she learned. Let me show you this one 1.5 times LB damage. So her LB will be very good, especially if you, let's say you have school STMR, then her LB will do a lot of damage. But yeah, I will explain later why LB is not her best option, okay? Because yeah, other than that, she is also like A2, okay? Very flexible because she able to become double hand character, plus 100% equipment attack, and also able to become dual wielder okay so very flexible but the drawback is she doesn't have w ability or triple ability in one turn so if you choose to build her into a double hand character then a2 will be better in terms of damage okay remember that she also has katana as her trust master that means you need to equip this, okay, if you don't want to use her trust ability and this katana is one-handed so it is not that good for double-handed character. And I think the next bad thing, I mean the next good thing is the 10 hits chaining move. Let me show you 10 hits, yep this 10 hits, I'm not sure which one but one of her chaining abilities is chainable with this red 13 uv and the new version of sabin so like you know that uv is very good character so having a character that can chain with her really really means a lot so i think tb is very good and yeah on the global we will probably get these two characters a2 and 2b soon why you ask me because only japan i have said they are quite good but it is just shame that they are not rated as high as the previous characters okay so like character like sabine and the new edgar get 98 as the score but for but for a2 and 2B only 96. 96 is not bad, but compared to newest character, it is not that meta changing, okay? And like you like you have seen, the A2 and 2B skills are they are nothing special, okay? There are no high break abilities, there are no they are not nothing special basically. Yeah? So for your info, Hyo is rated 97 on the Ultima. So that means 2B and A2 are rated lower than Hyo, okay? So that way, I think this A2 and 2B will appear soon, sooner than you expected on the global version. Because, yeah, they won't change or break the meta, okay? So maybe within one or two months, we will get this too, but yeah, we cannot. I cannot say that for sure because maybe Gumi will tinkering with this A2 and will make her really best because yeah I you have seen that her Japan version is different than global version but if this character if, if these two characters appear on the global I won't recommend you to pull them okay I think the Adam Jensen and Victor Marchenko are more interesting as a characters than these two 
Japan version. Okay, so I think yeah, I think that's all you need to know. Okay, about A2 and 2B. Maybe some of you are disappointed because they are not that great. Okay, because their their six touch form are really really great. Okay, the meta changing, not meta changing, but really they are really really good. Able to kill I Gaian, Malboro, you name it. Okay, but seven star version only 96 so yep i think that's all you need to know about a2 and 2b thank you very much for watching please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more final fantasy brave experience guide bye bye guys